If there's one thing that's certain, it's that everyone has an opinion. Those opinions are formed by many factors, including experiences, age, gender, race, religion, career, where you live, even who you follow on social media. At times, many of us have an opinion on an issue and make our voices heard. This is known as public opinion. In a democracy, public opinion can influence the decisions of elected officials. When people feel strongly about an issue, they voice their opinions and expect their elected officials to take action. People share their opinions in many forms, but perhaps the most powerful is through the vote. As former Congressman, the late John Lewis said, the vote is precious. It is almost sacred. It is the most powerful nonviolent tool we have in a democratic society, and we have to use it. Voters support the person or political party who they believe best represents their opinions. Sometimes public opinion results in positive change. In the late 1960s, young Americans were being drafted to fight in the Vietnam War. Although males could be drafted at 18 years old, in most states, people under 21 could not vote, which meant many people had little say in their futures. Young Americans wanted to have a stronger voice in the political process, so they shared their opinions and started to lobby for a change. They were joined by many other Americans and special interest groups, including the NAACP, the National Education Association, and labor unions to lobby for a change to the voting age. They worked hard and made their voices heard. In 1971, the U.S. Congress reacted to public opinion by passing the 26th Amendment, which states, the right of citizens of the United States who are 18 years of age or older to vote shall not be denied. On July 5th, President Richard Nixon signed the amendment into law. Public opinion had prevailed. As President Abraham Lincoln once said, public opinion in this country is everything. <laughs>